a welcome back, everybody. So, this episode, this chapter, this video is technically not the second because someone that may or may not be me may or may not have deleted permanently the original one of these. Like I said, maybe it happened, maybe it didn't. So we're going to continue on with our story. To recap what happened in between that first one and now, we became Thane of Falkreath. We helped some citizens. Uh, there was a priest of Arkay at the Hall of the Dead. We went and retrieved his journal from inside a uh, cave full of necromancers. Uh, you know, just go through, take them out, get his journal back. All good. We got Lucian here set up with some armor and a sword. His sword is a, a dwarven sword of flame, so it does fire damage. He's got some nice heavy armor on. Well protected Lucian there on the steps. So he came back, got to be a Thane. Hooray, we're Thane of Falkreath. Inside the dead man's drink here, we asked, you know, hey, any news or rumors floating about? You know, just looking for some work. We're told a blade was not too far outside of uh, Falkreath at, at, a, at a tower and uh, was causing a disturbance. So we went to investigate, found a Khajiit clad in blades armor, saying that, yeah, I uh, basically, any Thalmor, just a car, just this year, however you actually pronounce it, that comes through here, I kill him. Because he uh, definitely is not a fan of the Thalmor. He told us about how he's actually not a blade, how he got the armor and swords from his master, the one who taught him this the way of the divines, which are these ancient sword, two-handed sword techniques. And now he had to kill his master to get all of that, not the techniques. But basically, he, you know, he was just not a fan of his master. He wanted to learn the art of the kill instead of all the religion that went behind it. And so, there wasn't much of a disturbance. He wasn't, she, he, she, can't remember, was not going around killing citizens of Falkreath. So as Thane, we deemed it, all right, until we're told otherwise, you can continue on your way. We returned to the dead man's drink for some rest, relaxation, and we were told... Rumors are going around of strange activity somewhere around Helgen. Nobody is quite sure what is going on there other than reports that troops are m massing in the area. So just a gathering. Massing, amassing, or messing, missing in the area. Maybe worth investigating. So we're going to travel to Helgen, a place we have not been. It's a good journey away. Right over here. So we're just going to Peak Shades Tower. That's where we were. And then the other place we were at is the Sunderstone Gorge. That's where we got the journal. The other things we did uh, to help the citizens, because there are three total. So we went here for the journal. Came back and delivered it. There's one. We delivered some ashes of someone who had died, and they had basically been cremated to that same uh, priest of Arcae. So that was two. And then we sold some crops to the uh, farmer to help provide food for Falkreath. And that was three. And after doing that, we're fame now. So. I have a dog here who's distracting me. He's like, please pet me. Please, I am cute. So we're going to just head down the road. Long road ahead. Into Helgen. And see what this whole disturbance, this ruckus is all about. So we'll set off. If anything cool happens along the road, you'll be sure to see it. If not, uh, we'll catch up with you when we arrive in Helgen. Not too far outside of Falkreath, we've got some banditos. Okay. Let's see if we can uh, get up to where they're at. We have an elevated position. 
thinking we just kind of run up a little bit. Maybe flank around, like so. Definitely don't need bandits in our new uh, home of Falkreath. See the arrows flying. Not sure if hunters were still the same bandits. There we go, there they are. And that's one. Definitely saw two. For us to use. No sign of the other one, though. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Careful. Easy. And not much. All right. Well, let's ride. Get back on a road to Helgen. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? Go home to your mother. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? Gods, you're boring. Well. I spare you. For now. He got stuck on her horse. What the last one? Well, we may have or may not have committed a crime. I thought she was attacking. Lucian, this is just one of those unfortunate situations. I am uh, sorry you had to see that. This kind of reminds us of our uh, previous life as a mercenary. Okay. Stay off the road. Lucian seems to not be not be shaken by it too much, so again, apologies, Lucian. That was that was our mistake. I, I thought she was going to attack us, so um Yeah. Alright. Back on our way. We made it to Helgen. Not even a hundred percent sure of what we just heard and it almost looked like a large black creature flying away, but we only got a glimpse. Hmm. The thing that destroyed this place. That was a dragon. How is that possible? Okay, Lucian saw it too. Okay. So we're not we're not crazy. Oh, and speaking of crazy. So when we we're doing the whole journal thing. We could have sworn we heard this, like, this chanting noise. Okay. Turned around to Lucian. I was like, you hear this? He, he didn't say anything. Maybe thinks we're losing our mind. Um, and then we found this wall that seemed to have this, like, energy coming off of it. We basically, like, absorb its power? Would be the best way to describe it, and Lucian didn't even seem to take notice of it. So we thought for a second maybe we're losing our minds because we're seeing something that apparently other people can't see.
but now there's a dragon. And Lucian saw it too. So unless somehow we're both crazy, then we may not be completely losing our minds after all. Which is reassuring. Just do some investigating. As Lucian pointed out, this place is destroyed by a dragon. And there's not much left to it. searched. There you are. Body turns to ashes. You touch it, but somehow a leather journal survived. Okay. There it is. Journal contains several undated entries. Journal already. Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost forever. My contacts in Skyrim all seem quiet for now. Probably for first time since High King Torig was killed. No Imperial. Da -da. Darkwater Crossing. Can't get back to my camp now because the area is filled with Imperial patrols. So there seems to be a kind of a, at least in some of the people we've talked to, and now reading this, the Imperials seem to not be very well liked here. Hmm. General Tullius didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels. That doesn't matter now. Hadvar and Rayloff set aside their differences to help their survivors. They went into the lower keep hours ago. Something about caves with back entrance. I don't think they're coming back. I'll have to see if I can get out of the city and down to Riverwood. Someone needs to warn them. This building won't remain standing much longer. Still can't believe it. A dragon. Straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will ever believe me. Okay. So we can investigate the cave mentioned in the journal, or warn the residents of Riverwood about the dragon attack. I think warning some rev re residents should take a priority here if there are indeed dragons about. Okay. We should definitely take some priority. What else we got here? There's a site up ahead of us, some ancient structure on the side of a mountain. Alright. I mean, if this cave is close by, we can definitely check it out. Let's get the horse close by. <laughs> nope. Sorry, Lucian. <laughs> Let's just come inside, take a quick little look. See if there might be any any sort of information about maybe the people who tried to escape. Alright, so we'll go with a bit of this. But of course, let's be on the ready. is someone. And you come back with a cop. Came to see what was going on here. Need to warn Riverwood. Quit messing around and get down there. What? Uh, oh, 
No, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. Go to oblivion with it. You're here, and I need help. I need a healing potion before I can go on. Once I'm back on my feet, we can go together and warn them. So long as that dragon isn't still out there. We got that healing potion? Actually, yes, we do. We can definitely help you out there. Yes, here you go. I'll take whatever you have to offer. There you go. Healing potion. Just get out of here. Okay. Apparently this place seems like it's gonna collapse on us, so... Let's head. Keep an eye out for trouble. It's only a matter of time. Okay. Alright, back outside. Alright, so we got out safely. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. The closest town from here is Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Don't mention it. I'm just trying to help where we can. Okay, we seem to have stumbled across who knows what here. But I think making our way to this river wood would be a good idea. Just, you know, all things considered. Alright. So we're going to do that. We'll just make our way. Down the path here. Just see if there might be anything of interest, you know, in the town. Alright, we're heading the right direction. Riverwood is indeed this way. From what we can tell, that is Mr. Fox. <laughs> right, some more of these stones. Came across these... Er, not these specifically, but the Atronox Stone, if I recall the exact name of it. Just to remind and show. Yep, the Atronox Stone. Magicka does not regenerate. Each death within 50 feet restores Magicka equal 20 times their level. And of course, if you have magic remaining, spells are 25% more effective and cost 50% less. So, we're definitely not going to jump into any of these, because I like my spells to be nice and strong. But, just to see what they have to offer. Specifically, mage. Gain additional experience mage skills. Okay. More effective, or cast more effective spells and scrolls. Then we're also a bit of warrior. Damage with power attacks and long range shots. Hmm. Okay. Just something to consider. These are the guardian stones. Three of the thirteen ancient standing stones that dot Skyrim's landscape. Go ahead. And see for yourself. Thank you. What was that? Uh oh. No, it's a wolf. Alright, you got it. Alright. So we'll just continue on down the path. Riverwood, by all accounts, should be just ahead. Okay. Saw the dragon as well. Okay. So we got a. What looks like an inn, potentially. But I did get mentioned I that the other day about a thief the It wasn't me, on it. We're told the blacksmith. Sorry. Oh, Leon. Oh, it's early. Might be able to help us. Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. So Hadvar said you could help me out. Had? How do you know? Um, well, he's a friend. I guess. 
promise you could help. I'd be glad to help a friend of Hadpar, but you didn't answer my question. How do you know? So a dragon attacked Helgen and destroyed it. Hadvar and I escaped together. What? A dragon? And Helgen? That explains what I saw earlier. Flying down the valley from the south. I was hoping I was wrong about what I thought it was. Yeah, it was. And Hadvar will tell you the same thing. A dragon. Here in Skyrim. What's this world coming to? First the war. Dragons. Trouble loves company. The Yar needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. We need to get word to Jarl Balgruf and Whiterun to send whatever soldiers you can. If you'll do that for me. Okay. Any uh, supplies I could take? Like I said, I'm glad to help in any way I can. Help yourself to whatever you need within reason. Fair enough. I don't need much. Um, I will take some food for our journey. A couple of carrots for the horse. Uh, a little bit of wine would be nice as well. It's been a long day. Alright. Anything for... Girders, ah, that's not what I meant to do. Few generations ago. We'll come back to him. I take what you need, my friend. All right, let's see what he has for sale. Re the finest weapons and armor. See if there might be anything that we could use here. Some okay stuff. Armor, not much that's going to really help us. I mean, we could carry a shield, but, you know, that's not us. Various ingots, and things of that nature. Okay. Uh, mind if I use your forge? I see no harm in it, if you have the skill. The grindstone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials, you can use the forge to make something new. Okay. Hi, Uncle Halvor. Hello. Halvor. Thanks, Thomas. Fred told me about health. All right, we can definitely come on Secret will get you something to some eat. Some items. You can tell us what happened. Nice. These we can actually melt down at uh, forges or other ingots and things of that nature. Pretty good on that. Don't really have any weapons we can grind because we don't have that particular perk at the moment. Anything we can smith, though. Because if it has some good value, we can sell it, which would be really nice. Really nice indeed, actually. So let's see. Let's go by the value. Oh, we're taking some septums out, but nice. Got a level out of it too. Good. Okay. Magic of health, stammy stams. Bump that health. Let's look here. How's our destruction looking? We're good on that. These not really too concerned with. We can't upgrade that, which is okay. The restoration and alteration, some minor stuff. Enchanting though, smithing, we're getting there. We're working our way. How's our one-handed doing? We're good on that. We can't upgrade our Clash O Champions. Let's look at our light armor. We're good there. The fit is good. 
the sprinting. Not really concerned about that. Lock picking, mass nah, speech. Sell item for 10% more. Your intimidation attempts are twice as likely to succeed. That's got some potential. Alchemy also. Illusion, how are we doing? We could bump that, that would be nice. So you can victim steal their dream, increasing the effectiveness of your illusion spells by 50% for 3,600 seconds. Goodness. All right, that's got some potential as well. And I think that's where we'll go. All right. So now, real quick, I want to look at the armor that we have made. Still not... The uh, Kingslayer that we improved. Still not as good as our Viper Assassin. That's okay. Trying to catch me. All right, everybody just kind of went to sleep. So I think what we'll do is take a cue from them. We'll hit up this sleeping giant in according to that. And also for tradition, boop. <laughs> so we'll see what the haps is in the end. This is a local favorite and Orgar. one of the first songs I ever learned. Are you Ragnar listening? the Red. Hard not to. The ale is going bad. We need to get a new batch. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red. Who Did you hear me? To We've got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Okay. Well, since we are a couple of magical individuals, where can we learn more about magic? Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic, unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, can I use that alchemy lab? Long as you clean up, you know how to use it, right? Mix a couple of ingredients together, see what happens. A little wheat and blister wart makes a healing potion, if you didn't know. We have plenty of ingredients for sale, too. Oh, nice. Okay. Yep, ale's going bad. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after this. Just make sure we get a fresh batch. Let's see if there's anything Come on in. nice. We got warm food. So regenerate magica, as we've said, is pretty much useless right now. Same with restore. <laughs> restore stamina, okay. Some weakness to fire could be useful. Yeah, so we'll just do that. There we go. Just, you know, a little, little smidge of alchemy there. Okay. You're that visitor been poking around. Well, yeah. I'd like to rent a room if that's okay. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. No show your room right this way. All right, I'm just going I'm to here. assume my this is my room. I'm going to keep assuming. Hey, look at that. All right. We're going to get a little bit of sleep. This is a local favorite. Which might be a little difficult considering the singing that's going on. Once was it? And then we're going to get up in the morning, have some food, have some drink, and set off to the Yarl. And see if, you know, he might have anything uh, in the way of soldiers he can provide to help protect uh, the citizens. So, uh, we'll see you in the morning. And we're just pulling up just near Whiterun. Getting a little stormy outside. And a good morning. Some news to deliver. So I think it's best we get to it. Find the Jarl. Should be up in his uh, keep, I would imagine. 
There's part of a woman. Oh, magic. <laughs> it's and bubbles for sale. Oh, I can buy the best All right. So we'll just keep on coming up. Hopefully it's okay for horses to be here. I would imagine so. And now we'll just for uh, some courtesy sake, just leave our horse right here. <coughs> a little bit of a little bit of grass, plants to graze on, just in case. Of course, we fed our horse in the morning. All right. There. Well. Try this again. Sheesh. I think it'd be easier to open a door. Here we are, Dragon's Reach. Spectacular, isn't it? Let's go chat to the man in the big fancy chair. Well, there's no telling what Fair point. No need to rush up on him. <laughs> that would take too long. Okay. My lord, please. You have to listen. If the news from Helgen is true, you have me do well, that? what's the meaning of this interruption? My lord, Jarl Balgraf is not receiving no visitors. Let's calm down. I just think we need more um. Well, Alvor sent me. Riverwood is in danger. As House Carl, my job is to deal with all dangers that threaten the Jarl or his people. So you have my attention. Now explain yourself. So a dragon has destroyed Helgen. You know about Helgen? The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. Approach. Okay. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Well, yes, uh, for the most part. <coughs> dragon destroyed Helgen. And I, when last, I saw it heading this way. Mir Irileth was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains. The Jarl of Ulfric will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Okay. We got a Bosmer. Aquaras. Honestly, it kind of looks looks a bit better. <laughs> just overall, that's just me, maybe. But increased carrying capacity. You guys know how it is with me. <laughs> Lucian Flavius reporting for duty. Uh, let's trade something real quick. Go ahead. Load me up. If you want to put it that way. Okay, uh, not that. Um, here, take this. What's next? Looks like we're going to go speak to a wizard. Varengar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. 
So the Arl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Okay. What does this have to do with dragons? Ah, no mere brute mercenary but a thinker. Perhaps even a scholar? You see, when the stories of dragons began to circulate, many dismissed them as mere fantasies, rumors, impossibilities. One sure mark of a fool is to dismiss anything that falls outside his experience as being impossible. But I began to search for information about dragons. Where had they gone all those years ago? And where were they coming from? Okay. So, what do you need me to do? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Alright. Anything you can tell me about Bleak Falls Barrow? An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. And how do you know the stone tablet is in Bleak Falls Barrow? Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Okay. We already know where we can learn more about magic. Um, anything for sale? Hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. I mean, we were told that this would be the safe way to learn more about magic from uh, Alvor. So let's see what he's got. A few items here and there. All right, let's get to the valuables. Conjuration, no thanks. So he's got a lot. Just a lot of stuff. And I'm not going to sit here with all of you and go through every single one, even though I am going to go through every single one, just to see if there might be something that is quite useful to us. And then I'm going to do potentially a little alchemy, a little conjure, not conjuration, enchanting. And then we're going to decide. We kind of have a couple ways we can go. We can go to Bleak Falls Barrow and hope that this dragon stone is still there. Or we can maybe go and learn more about magic at this College of Winterhold. So we got some decisions to make. But you'll have our answer soon enough. <laughs>